Good evening, everyone. Um, my name is David Dolji. <coughs> my partner here, he can introduce himself, but we're also known as the Coast Riders. Um, <laughs> we, we, we solo riders. Um, today we will be doing our slide. Um, I hope you will find it very interesting. Uh, myself and Chisco will speak about our partnership and what we have done for the year that went past so quickly. So, here we go. Um, Chisco, maybe you can start. Yeah, well, um, I work at Harley Davidson Tiger Valley. We are based, well, at RX Tiger Valley Center. Um, I almost would like to think that we're the only Harley Davidson dealership that actually counts and that matters. Um, that's just a, a pick of some of, the, of, of our staff members at the, at, uh, the year, at year end, basically. Um, we are about 20, 20 odd uh, people there. And the nice thing about the brand itself, um, it sort of tells to, to individuality and allows you to be you, um, which is an amazing uh, partnership to be part of in, in that regard, with regards to the Holly Davidson. And when some, so often people ask, um, why Holly Davidson? And one of my comments would be, no one would tattoo Honda, Honda on the arm. So, there you go. <laughs> yeah, people, I'm, I'm situated, well, my school is situated in Mitchell's Plain, a small township um, in Lintahir. Lintahir is a suburb within Mitchell's Plain. Um, I manage about 1,120 learners at the school, ranging from grade R right up to grade 7. A uh, very daunting task. We have on average about 40 learners in the classroom. So it is a task to be dealt with every day. So you can see I've got 1,120 problems every day. Not necessarily bad ones, but good ones. I don't feed learners just from the Mitchell's Plain area, but um, learners coming from Kailicha, Google Eat to um, Samora, Marshall, Portland, um, Rockland, South and South, within the Mitchell's Plain as well. And I've got a staff complement of about 60, ranging from security, groundsmen, staff, uh, teaching staff, non-teaching staff, and a few of those other members that think they are the principal as well. <laughs> so I need to deal with a lot of people as well. So, that is who we are. Um, the second slide here is about why we decided to come onto the program and just a little bit about our partnership between myself and, and Chisco here. Well, Chisco, I think maybe you can go first. Here. Yeah, um, one of the reasons why I am part of the program is Pete Edgerton, who is one of our owners of the business, um, thought it fit to invite me to, to be part of this and, and it's an initiative that I, I believe is near and dear to his heart. The opportunity to give back um, as, a, as a business and also as uh, I think in, in his part as well as, a, as an individual. The opportunity ar arose there and he asked if I would like to be part of this and I said yes. Um, you often wonder how do I give back? How can I give back? You know, what, what is my role going to be in making things better for, for our young people, for our kids? And as a parent, firstly, uh, I've got a responsibility to my kids to make certain that the way forward for them is a positive way forward. And um, one, of the, one of the photos that we have there, that young gentleman, Mr. Jacobs, you know, we often, we are faced with so much negativity when people say, ah, the state of our education system is in disarray. But that young man over there, he's been with the school, I think, seven years. Um, the, the positive attitude that he exudes, um, I watched him with, um, with the learners, and I see and I feel this hope for the way forward for our kids. And because of individuals like, like himself there, um, and everyone else in the room, the opportunity for us to give back is right at our doorsteps. Um, all we, but we just need to extend our hands and say this, we're, we're willing to do this. Um, our exposure when it comes to, to schools, myself as a parent, I am under the impression, or I was under the impression that principals sit in the office and that's it. That's the extent of their day. What do they have to be worried about? And then I met uh, most of the people in the room and I, and I got to spend some time with Trevor as well. Wow. You guys are an amazing bunch of people. Um, the time that goes into it, the effort that goes into to running a school, often not with as much experience as you would need to. And there you go. Positive hope there for the way forward. 
Yeah, um, for me, very shortly for being part of the PFP was about networking with other people, getting to know more people. Many times you think as a leader you know it all, but through the uh, efforts of PFP, uh, this has strengthened the processes that I have already had in place as a leader at school, but also to bring me back to the basics. Many times I find myself in a situation where you, know, you, you want to run away from the situation um, because you think you know what you're doing is the right thing. But uh, through the partnership and through um, the, the, the sounding board that I have um, from Vincesco here was that um, there's always a place and a person where I can fall back onto. Many times we as principals, we don't have anybody to speak to. Um, we always have our staff coming to talk to us. They lay all the burdens on us. I cannot go home and lay all of that on my family. Um, I, I didn't lay it on him as well. But um, for me it was about networking, the learning process, and just strengthening what I already was doing in the school. Our third slide here is about how PFP impacted us. And I think most importantly for me is through what I've learned through the Fluorous Consulting workshop that we had, through the Listening Skills workshop that we had, that I could use that and incorporate it in, into my school system. Um, I used to be a person where if somebody would come to me and, and talk and say, wait, 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 I've already got the answer for you. But it, it made me sit back and, and listen to the person. It was more about, for me, building that relationship with my staff, which is very important because I believe that a healthy staff will have, I will have, if I have a healthy staff, I will have a healthy school and eventually I will have healthy learners and I will have a healthy parent community. And I would like to substitute that word healthy because health is in my mind now yes, because yes. I just went through a process of security, health and security. I just replace it with happy. So for me in the end, what I've learned through the PFP was how to make everyone at my school happy. And I think he can speak about it. Even everyone that's sitting in this room and visited my school can speak about my school being a happy school. Because I'm a happy chappy. <laughs> <laughs> Look, the, for me, what is amazing about this program, it's, it's nothing about, that's nothing pie in the sky. It is tangible, it is it's real, it's things that we deal with and we, we experience on a day-to-day -day basis. You know, taking the time to pause and listen. We often, we so, so relieved, you know, in a hurry to, to get to the, to the end um, that we don't take the pauses. And the pauses are very important. I just try to pause here to give you an opportunity to listen. <laughs> um, Amazing experience, just an amazing experience. Um, we are pressed for time, so we gonna, we're going to do a, another slide for you, but we're not going to talk in the slide. We just want you to see how we started one of our projects that we started. We have about three projects that we wanted mm -hmm. to do within the school. The one project that we started was mainly for our library, looking at our literacy at our school. And this is how we did it. We'll speak just briefly about it at the end. So let's roll Project library. That's what it used to look like. That's how we started renovating it through items that we received from Holly Davidson. Eventually it's nicely painted, it's starting to look like a library. Books started to come in and fill the shelves. So from nothing to something, learners utilizing the library eventually. And from here, we stepped up a little, step, uh, brought a level up a little bit, going into a reading spelling competition. And then eventually our slide ends off with uh, where we make use of our good readers at our school to read to the other kids. Um, not necessarily inside of the classroom, but we utilize space on the school. Um, and this is our final slide.
Yeah, with the um, three of us starting out, starting out and the journey starting out together, he's, he's, a, he's a seasoned biker in, in his own right. Um, but now he's a celebrity biker as well because we had him at, uh, as a celebrity judge at our Porky Coast competition and uh, he, fitted, he slotted in very nicely there. <laughs> Um, yeah, I just want to play the slide just briefly back and speak about Chisco. At our reading competition, Chisco was quite um, actively involved, you know, standing on the side, checking everything out, starting to move closer to me, and eventually getting hold of the mic. <laughs> Take, completely taking over, and eventually he took over my whole school. Addressing my whole school community at the awards evening last year. So that is who we are. Thank you. Thank you.